<laughs> you mentioned, uh, what's his name, Conan, and uh, <laughs> thoughts? <laughs> He's the best. He's the best. Sweeney goes first. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I just, um, what happens what in about chambers? Them? In chambers, uh, we really actually just talk about our weekend plans. <laughs> 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 Movies, who's seen a good movie, what we're going to do, and then we flip a coin and decide what goes in the show. So it's pretty, pretty... Yeah, chambers started like a... That's more of a recent event. <laughs> but um, sometimes during rehearsal, Conan will just... It's like... So I have to sit in the, you know, we're all down there, like behind the couch, on the couch. And sometimes it's almost, you feel like you're pushing raw meat. Like, you just, <laughs> there's some piece we're rehearsing, you know, Conan's just gonna, he just, he can figure out what's wrong with it really fast. And he just, but in a funny way, he, he'll just rip it to shreds, you know. And, and they actually, um, you know, a while, while ago, we realized we, we taped the rehearsals and, and s some of the good ones that we're, we put on our, our website now, because mm -hmm. they're, they're just really funny when you rip something to shreds. I'm trying to think of a, a recent one. But he's, um, I mean, we get, the good thing is we get to see him. It's not like he's off in some, you know, um, very closed location. Yes. He's, yeah. he's around very the office. He, uh, he pops in, in he'll come into your office, he'll fire a penny at you or, <laughs> uh, you know, it, when we're in Sweeney's office, which is also referred to as the writer's room, he'll, he always comes in. I'd, I'd say maybe once a day, if not three or four times a week. And he sang aids us a lot. He'll walk around with a guitar and make up songs about all our weaknesses. <laughs> what? What, are accurate. I'm like, what are your weaknesses? <laughs> I, he doesn't do one for me. <laughs> I'm always amazed at how he can. He has these metaphors that can completely sum us all up. Like. Like one time I was really nervous before a sketch, like how it was going to go, and he goes, Stack, you know what you are? You're one of those playwrights from the 30s, pacing in front of the theater in a tuxedo and tails, waiting for the morning papers to arrive. <laughs> <laughs> you know? like, yeah, that's, that's exactly right. Or like, uh, or Kevin, Kevin Dorp, like another one of our writers, looks kind of like, has a timeless look of kind of a gangs of New York Irishman, and he'll say things like, Dorp, what are you doing here? Shouldn't you be off throwing cabbages at Lincoln's inaugural <laughs> 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 And it's always just dead on. It's always, yeah. yep, that's what he looks like. What, um, and it's the one with me, if I wear a turtleneck, is just simply egg in an egg cup. You know? <laughs> <laughs> any, like any morning, like in winter, when I'm putting on a turtleneck, I'm like, I know, what's going on? You get to work, egg in an egg cup. <laughs> and he didn't even wear them for a while, and he would just say that to you. And, yeah. But you know, just like, I guess, I don't know, he's an egg in an egg cup. What and about, Berkeley, he, oh. yeah, I was going to ask. I'm, uh, about your his hair? thing for me, well, I'm just guessing. Is, at first, it was like I would say something, he'd be like, "Listen, we didn't all grow up on the organic peyote farm." <laughs> <laughs> his first thing, and then, and then it moved into that I'm too young to remember September 11th. <laughs> <laughs> 